Okay, we've just finished our straight line depreciation for problem A2A. We're going to move on now and we're going to do units of production. So units of production, uh, look at the asset and they say, why are we using time as a measure for loss in value? Shouldn't we use like usage? Like in years where I drive a car a lot, shouldn't I depreciate it a lot? And in years where I barely drive the car, doesn't it depreciate just very little? And so units of production says measure not time, but measure usage. And that's how you should do your depreciation. So let's look at B here. B says, well, we got this asset. And again, we'll, we do the same calculation at the top. The asset cost us $25,000, if you'll recall. The residual value, that salvage value, if you will, was uh, five. And so the depreciable cost is 20,000. So we kind of have the same starting point for straight line or units of production. The uh, uh, depreciable cost being 20 in both cases. Okay, so um, where to go from here? Well, last time we said, okay, we took that depreciable cost and we divided by the number of years. Here we're gonna take the depreciable cost and divide by the total usage we think we'll get out of the asset. And we've estimated 100,000 kilometers. That's how we're measuring our usage. So let's divide this by 100,000 kilometers. And we get a new rate here. Our rate is 20 cents per kilometer. So when I go to calculate uh, my depreciation, I just take the number of kilometers driven. And in reality, you might prepare this schedule in advance and this would be an estimate. In reality, you would literally look, literally, I'm saying literally too much. You would look at the odometer on your car, like the how many kilometers you drove. You would multiply it by 20 cents and you would say, oh, there's my depreciation this year. So. In this case, 10,000 times 0 0.20, and each of these numbers times 20 cents, right? I'm just taking my kilometers to be driven times by 20 cents. So 10,000 kilometers times 20 cents is $2,000. 20,000 kilometers times 20 cents is $4,000. 25,000 kilometers times 20 cents is $5,000. 22,000 kilometers times 20 cents. Oh, I was, I was doing so well with the math in my head. I think that's $4,400. 18,000 kilometers times 20 cents is $1,600? No, $3,600. The, the challenges of doing math in your head. 5,000 times 20 cents is $1,000. When we add this up, let's see, 6, 11, 11, uh, plus 8 is 19. Yeah, it's $20,000. And to nobody's surprise, that is my depreciable cost. Uh, so my units of production depreciation, 2,000. Oh, and, and actually, this is important. The number of months, I didn't take that first year and multiply by nine, oops, nine twelfths. I didn't do that. Why didn't I do that? Why would that be dead wrong to do? Well, because time doesn't matter for units of production. It's all about kilometers. It doesn't matter if you drove all the kilometers in January, right? It's just depreciation is by the kilometer, not by the month. So we don't have to worry about nine twelfths here. We just take those numbers, 2,000, 4,000. 5,000, 4,400, 3,600, and 1,000, and we get to $20,000 in depreciation. Okay, so there we've kind of done, I guess I called this all A. This is A, this one is B, and we're going to do C, double declining balance in our next video. Stay tuned.